Hey guys, today we're going to talk about manufacturing defects in the Samsung Q8FN television. The first defect we're going to discuss is dead pixels. Now, unfortunately, dead pixels are a reality of LCD televisions. All manufacturers have them, and it's cheaper for them to replace panels when buyers complain during the warranty period rather than fixing the manufacturing process or catching them in QA. Now, dead pixels look like little black dots in your display, and there are 8.3 million pixels in a 4K display. So one or two dead pixels are going to be very hard to see unless you're right up close to the TV. So they probably won't bother you unless there's many dead pixels or clusters of dead pixels that you can actually see from far away. The first three units that I had had multiple dead pixels, more than I was willing to tolerate, so I did exchange it. And the fourth unit only has one dead pixel, and it's in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, so it's very hard to see, and I'm willing to tolerate that one dead pixel. I'll show it to you now so you can see what it looks like. So as you can see, it is very small and in the corner of the screen, so it's not visible from far away. The next defect we're going to talk about is dirty screen effect. Unfortunately, dirty screen effect is also a reality of LCD televisions. It tends to be far worse with TVs that have full array local dimming. So if you're not a fan of dirty screen effect, if you watch a lot of sports, such as hockey, where there is a constant white background, then you might prefer an edge lit display. Now, dirty screen effect, as you can see from the white background on the screen right now, it looks as if there's some dirt on the screen. And this is just due to differences during the manufacturing and assembly of the panel. And each unit will be slightly different. Some units will have less dirty screen effect. Some units will have more dirty screen effect. There's no way to get rid of dirty screen effect. It happened during the manufacturing of the TV. So you just have to keep trying different panels until you find one that is acceptable to you. I suggest going through a retailer with an easy return and exchange policy so that you can facilitate that exchange process. Now, dirty screen effect, I find it doesn't really bother me personally because I don't watch a lot of sports or a lot of TV shows or movies with constant white backgrounds. I very rarely notice it. And when I do notice it, I've learned to just ignore it. So if you're just an average movie and TV watcher, dirty screen effect is not going to be a big deal for, for you. And you'll probably appreciate the benefits of the full array local dimming. And that will outweigh the dirty screen effect in your display. So these two defects, unfortunately, are very common with LCD televisions. And there's no way to avoid them completely but you can always exchange your TV and try again. And hopefully the next unit will be a winner for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel and also post any comments or questions you have in the comments section below and I'll get back to you.